Hello everybody, Alice Motion here. Welcome back to another LEGO Minecraft World Update video. This one is a pretty big update, so let's get right in the video. We're gonna go to the smallest part of the update, which is the beehive, which I placed in the plains biome. We have a beehive on the tree, which is simply just attached like that. And then from the outside, actually looks like it's actually hanging there. But we have a neutral bee here, and then we have an angry bee here that's chasing Alex because he tried to steal some honey from the nest. But I also added a bunch of flowers here so the bees can go and pollinate. Uh, we also have Alex in this birch boat. And uh, yeah, basic update for the plains biome. But there's a bigger update uh, over here where I replaced one of the blue plates with a green plate. I really need that blue plate for a different part of the display, so I replaced it with the green one. Gives it more space in the planes biome. It's not really done yet, it's still pretty blank. In the next update video, video there should be more to this. Right now it just looks unfinished, but other than that, that's the only update in the planes biome. But I think for next video, I'm going to completely change the mountain. I kind of want to have something new over here. Nothing has changed at all over here in a while. So uh, maybe next update video I'll have a different kind of mountain or a different cave. Maybe the whole plains biome will change next update, so stay tuned for that. The village has basically completely changed. Um, basically, the only things that have stayed in the same spot is the blacksmith, pig farm, the butcher shop, and this small house here and the garden. Everything else has been moved around. I got rid of the chicken coop and the sheep farm and the pig farm. It just took up too much space, so I got rid of those. I also got rid of the farm cottage set as well. And uh, I think it just looks nicer. It looks more like a natural village with only the naturally spawned buildings. We still have the sheep pen here, which is in the back of a, a butcher shop. I have two butcher shops now. I managed to find enough pieces to build one. It still opens up. It's just built a little differently. I even made it so it can still hinge open, but as you can see, it's a little uglier inside. I can maybe fix it, but no one's gonna really be looking inside of it anyways, but it's almost an exact replica of the other one. So very nice to have now three of the bigger houses instead of only having two, but I did have to sacrifice one of the smaller ones like this to build this but I'd much rather have this than a tiny little building. We have some more buildings here. We have a little bridge going to this one here. Um, here's just a pond, move the pond over here. Now it actually connects to this one underneath the wall. So it's just like built over the water, but the water still gets to the other side, which forms a waterfall. Before the water just stopped here, and it just didn't look good, so now it connects with the pond in the village, and I now got rid of this pond over here. We have the priest tower here, moved into the desert half. I got this idea, this um, priest tower idea from Brick Amigos. They are a really cool channel. They make Minecraft mocks and other mocks like that, and they made this priest tower. I really liked it. I think it looks really nice and matches the other sets. Moving on over here near the raid, we have this new guy from the new 2020 pillager raid set. He's about to cure a zombie villager. And um, that zombie villager came from over here, where a villager got infected, which is now being thrown in the air by an iron golem. Uh, still the old design iron golem. I have the new one over here. We just have a mix of different iron golems in the whole mock. But over here at the raid, I have two of the new pillager figures, and I have my custom ravager. Temporarily, I'm gonna replace it with the new official ravager as soon as I get my hands on the new pillager raid set. But right now I only have two pillagers and they're breaking into the village, trying to raid it, but we have the Iron Golem fighting. We have Steve in full diamond armor fighting to protect those villagers. We also have a witch as part of the raid as well. Um, here is the Savannah biome, and I added a whole new plate. We have a whole new water plate. This is where I took that blue plate, replaced it. We also have a whole new tan plate, and then it ends over here. Then we have the mess of bricks from the building I've been doing, but Replaced it, got this nice little water plate. We have a couple little um, rocky islands that you can find in game. And we still have the savannah biome, which has grown a little bit. Maybe I want to make it a little bigger in the future, but this hill has stayed the same. Desert has stayed the same, except for the new plate added on over here. But in the taiga and snow biome, this has also changed. 
I move the taiga biome to the back instead of the front, and I move the snow biome to the front because it looks nicer. You can actually see the snow biome. Then you have the trees in the background instead of having the trees in front. It just looks a lot neater and nicer. Maybe a little river here with a bridge going over it. And I might be able to get a few more plates and extend the desert and the snow biome. That would be really nice, but um, don't really have too many base plates. This is the only base plate I really have left, which I think I'm gonna rebuild my nether mock on. But the snow biome looks nice. We have an icy pond, an igloo. There's a bunch of trees in the taiga biome. Um, we have a snowy tree here. We've got a creeper there. And we got the stray figure over there in the corner tall tree and it's very plain but very happy with it. The happiest I've been with the snow and taiga biome. That biome has changed a lot in the display and I think I'm finally going to keep this one the way it is. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below and I'll see you guys in another LEGO video. Have a great day.